Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Cuddy dropping another video for you guys here today. So right now I am in my Toyota Camry 1994 and um, if you guys don't know, I've been trying to work on my Toyota Camry, trying to renovate my car, you know, give my car a brand new look and uh, right now what I was able to do is I give my car a brand new stereo as you guys can see here. If you haven't seen that video, make sure y'all watch it. We'll go to my previous video and you guys can see how I did the installation. So what I'm doing today is basically working on my sunroof. I don't know what's going on with my sunroof, but it's not working. It doesn't open. I don't know why, but every time I press these buttons right here, trying to uh, open my sunroof, it wouldn't open. You will hear a little knock, like it's trying to open, but then it gets stuck. So um, I decided to take it to a mechanic and see what's going on with it, if you can really fix it. He advised that I either change the motor or I get a whole entire sunroof, and that would cost me a, a couple thousand dollars. Or I can just leave the sunroof like that and, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't bother me. But for me, it does because it's a sunroof. What's the point of having it if it's not useful? So um, I decided to walk away from his, uh, you know, couple thousand dollars that I have to pay to get it fixed. So what I'm going to do is actually go to the junkyard and see if I can get me a whole entire sunroof with a motor. And um, hopefully I can be able to replace the whole entire sunroof or just replace the motor so that's what i'm thinking about doing and hopefully that my sunroof will work so um right now what i'm trying to do is just show you guys what's going on with my sunroof and i got my little flat screwdriver here so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, take out the plastic cover of the controller that control the sunroof of course and after that i can show you exactly what's going on so once i go to one of those junkyards i'm hoping to have uh, that i can find uh, my car which is a Toyota Camry 1994 and if I do find it maybe I can get a hold of a sunroof or um, a motor so um right now this is how my motor I mean my controller look so um, what's going on again is that it doesn't open at all so every time I press this up and down button the forward and backward buttons uh, what's going on is that uh, I will see a little bolt right here that is uh, trying to rotate but then it doesn't rotate all the way this little bolt right there it doesn't rotate all the way and that's probably why my sunroof doesn't open at all so uh, hopefully I can be able to fix it myself and not spend a couple thousand dollars to get it done so uh, again it's gonna be really easy I hope so I'm gonna go to the junkyard right now um, I found a couple junkyard that actually carries a 1994 Toyota Camry I'm gonna go over there trying to see if I can remove the sunroof and the uh, um, and the motor at the same time and then i'll catch you guys back after i get the part so we can go ahead and work on my camera all right guys so here goes the sunroof that i got from the junkyard it looks pretty good and i can't wait to actually try it out and see if it's gonna work with this uh with my toyota camry uh so now let's get back in the car and get started with this installation all right guys so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and remove the sunroof cover right here and after i remove that little sunroof cover I, I can have access to the whole entire roof and after i have access to it i can just go ahead and uh, remove the whole entire roof cover or just the motor so what i'm trying to do here is just remove the whole entire uh sunroof and just replace it with the one i got from the junkyard because it looks better and it is in a better condition so after that i can just try it and see if it works hopefully it will work and just replace the glass and that's about it so let's get started with this installation now all right guys so while i'm removing the top cover i want to tell you guys a little bit about my story going to the junkyard and uh, i had a blast for real because it was my first time going to the junkyard and when i arrived there they gave me two options they can either go in there and remove the part for me and then it will cost me a lot more money or I can go up there and remove the part that I need myself and just pay for the part and not the labor. So I was like, you know what? I'm going, I'm going there and get it myself because I don't like, I'm stingy, man. I don't, I don't like giving my money like that, especially if I can do it myself. So I went in there, I was looking around and I was able to find and locate a 1994 Toyota Camry, same model with a sunroof. And I got excited, got in there and then I got a uh, brain freeze. I didn't know what I was doing. I just sat in the car looking at the top and I was like, okay, so where do I start? But the good thing is, is um, I learned how to do it. Even though it took me two hours, I was able to practice and how to remove the cover 
and how to remove the motor and the sunroof without really uh, damaging anything so the good thing is I learned hands-on training first and I practice how to do it so whenever I uh, I'm done with the junkyard and I'm doing it on my car I can actually do a better job and it won't take me two hours of course so right now everything I'm doing here it does look like I'm a professional but I'm not a professional I had to practice and learn how to do it first before I was able to do it how I'm doing it right now inside of my car and uh, so that's the best advice I can give any rookies out there like me who don't know anything about cars and like to fix stuff by themselves listen if you want to buy a part and you know you can get it at the junkyard go to one of those junkyards that let you go in and get and get access to the car yourself and get access to the, uh, the part that you need and uh, remove it practice how to do it so whenever you come home you can actually master it and do a better job at it without messing up anything so that's the thing I wanted to tell you about the junkyard so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish removing the cover top and then after that we can have access to the sunroof and the motor and then uh, see what is going on and see what we need to change so uh, let me finish removing the top cover Alright, so now that the cover piece is removed, uh, I can actually show you how my sunroof looks. Uh, and here we go. This is my sunroof right here. And now I just gotta go ahead and uh, see if I can either change the motor or see what's really going on. So, um, so I find out the reason why my sunroof was not opening, and it is not a um, a motor problem. And the reason why it wasn't open is because if you look at the hole right here, which is the opener, it's rusted. And because it's rusted, it's, it, that's the reason why the bolt was getting stuck every time I was pressing the up and down button to open the sunroof. And because it's rusted, therefore it's not going to work. And that, and that hole right here is supposed to have a metal, which is supposed to rotate with the bolt, and it's supposed to help the sunroof to open. So now that I know what the problem is, I'm just going to go ahead and re uh, change the whole entire sunroof. And luckily I was able to get the whole entire sunroof from the junkyard. So it was a good thing that I did that. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove this um, one in my car. And I'm going to go ahead and replace it with the one that I got from the junkyard. Put everything back in place and hopefully that's going to work. So let's get started.
so here goes my sunroof i was able to take it out so now all i gotta do is go ahead and uh, trash this and we're gonna be using the one that i got from the junkyard and this is the one right here and uh it looks it looks better it better shape the only thing i need to change is the glass and after that we're gonna go ahead and put this one inside of the car and then test it out and see if it works so let's get back in the car so before I put my sunroof back in place, I want to go ahead and put this heater cooler insulation right here. And what it does is that it's going to keep my car really cool during the summer and then very warm during the winter. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and stick this onto the roof. I'm going to put it right here onto this metal. And after that, I'm going to put my sunroof back on uh, back inside of the car. And then I'm going to add some more insulation before I put the roof cover back on. And again, the old generation car doesn't have no insulation like the new generation do. That's the reason why I thought this would be very helpful. Because my car gets very hot during the summer. And I thought putting this was going to help it cool off a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up with this insulation. And after that, we can go ahead and put the... Um, my sunroof back in place so let's go ahead and finish this up now Alright, I'm almost done here with the insulation. That's how it looks right now inside of my car. I'm going to put some more insulation after I put my sunroof back in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put my sunroof back in place and hopefully it works. And after that, we can go ahead and put some more uh, insulation inside of the car. Okay guys, so I am almost done here. The only thing left for me to do is go ahead and replace the glass that came with the sunroof that I got from the junkyard. And I'm gonna replace it with the one that I had on my old sunroof. So now after that, I'm gonna go ahead and put the motor back on here and then we can try it out and see if it's gonna work. One more thing I wanna show you guys here is the hole right here. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. If you look at the hole right here, it's not rusted like the one that I, the one that came with my car. My old sunroof was rusted, but this one right here is not rusted. It looks fresh, and this right here will make a difference, and hopefully it will make my car, uh, my sunroof actually work on my car. So let's go ahead and remove that glass right here, replace it, put the motor back on, and then we can go ahead and test it out and see if it's working. Let's go ahead and uh, do that right now.
Okay guys, so let's go ahead and try to open the sunroof up and it is working guys and I'm very excited I was able to fix my sunroof just like that and uh, man I can't wait to see to see what else I can really do with this Toyota Camry uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this up just go ahead and subscribe to my channel make sure y'all share and y'all give it some thumbs up if y'all like everything I'm doing so far on my Toyota Camry peace